Arlen, another aspect of being engaged with HTG is, is how we work with vendors. And I think that's been a real transformational piece of how I work in my business. And I know for many people it was revolutionary that you could treat vendors as people and as valued okay. partners. Can you talk a little bit about that and some of the exciting things we've seen in HTG, the way that member companies even can work together with vendors? Well, I, I think there's been a misconception in the channel as partners about what our relationship ought to be with vendors. We often sit there and feel like we're their customer and they owe us a bunch of stuff. And that's just not the way a good relationship functions. It needs to be a win-win for both of us. And for us to sit and just stick our hand out and say, how much are you gonna give me or what can I get from you today without being willing to give back to them as a vendor partner is not gonna be very effective. And those days are really behind us. Vendors need to work with partners that will help them grow their companies, just like we're trying to grow our own company. So that really involves us being willing to get beyond the me syndrome and focus on how we can together work with our vendors to serve our customers. That's really what we're both focused on and where our commonality is. So as we work with our vendors, we need to look for ways that we can help them achieve success as we achieve success. That involves understanding them as people, knowing what their goals and motivations are, and aligning where we can with our own company's goals and objection, uh, objectives. And we can do that effectively. Vendors are very open to that because it's so unusual for them to find in the, in the channel today. So it's an opportunity for us to really be different than most of our, our uh, peers. And HTG has had a lot of success working with our vendor partners because we do the kinds of things that make them successful. Our people respond, they execute, they apply their programs, they market their products, and we sell their stuff. And at the end of the day, that's really what they are in business for. And we need to accept that and work with them to help drive that kind of action. I know that I'm a very small partner, and thanks to my group, I've learned about new vendors that I can partner with. And companies like Lenovo and WatchGuard and HP, these relationships that I've built individually with these vendors have really transformed my relationship with them and what I'm getting. I mean, I am making more money, having better products for my customers, and I have a relationship with people that I really enjoy. I'm, I'm so happy to see them. I get a big smile on my face when I'm looking forward to seeing some of these folks. It's just great. Yeah, and you know, there, we have a variety of members across HDG. Some are very product centric, some don't sell any product directly. Mm -hmm. But at the end of the day, we all work with product. And so having relationships with vendors is very important for all of us, no matter where we're at on that chain of value. We need to understand how to engage them properly. We need to understand how to work with their technical support teams. We need to know how to really help them succeed. And we don't have to figure all that out on our own. HTG partnership within our groups and across our groups help us identify the vendors that work well with, with the partner community. They can shortcut that time of ramp to be successful with them and help us to all leverage that knowledge together. And so we're doing a lot of that with our vendor partners today. We're helping them understand the channel as we understand them. And, and that's a lot of the problems that we've had in the past. It's just been a lack of communication. A lot of assumptions that aren't true, that we all make, and as we really sit down together and understand each other's businesses, we can be very effective working together. The other thing I know that you tend to focus on, and, and quite accurately, is that it's really, there's something that you say is it's, it's shameful that we don't know. Do you know what I'm talking about here, about our vendors? Well. We need to understand how vendors get compensated, especially field people, because the assumption we always make is that they get paid solely on the amount of product they sell. And in a lot of cases, that's not true. There are other metrics that they get measured around, and if we understand what those are, oftentimes we can help them be successful and to uh, be compensated better than they are currently being compensated little things around customer satisfaction. I know that I get lots of surveys from vendors about customer sat. I used to just delete, delete, delete. But I understand now for a lot of my field reps, it's a huge portion of their pay structure. And when partners fail to uh, respond to those things, it can impact how they get paid. So I never do that anymore. I always fill those out. 
A lot of it is, in, is uh, program involvement. You know, are you in their partner program? Are you participating in some of their marketing activities? Those kind of things are also measures often. The reality is we need to ask the question. When we sit across from a vendor, we need to find out how do you get compensated? They appreciate the fact that we care. And uh, they need to also understand how we make our money as partners. A lot of folks in the vendor channel don't understand VARs. And they don't know that most of our revenue comes maybe from the services side of our business or whatever. So we have this opportunity to go another layer deeper just by communicating. And that makes all the difference in that relationship. Thanks, Arlen. You bet. Thank you.